Good evening, NFW Nation, and welcome to another episode of Love Shack. I'm your host, Big Al, of Dr. Love. And I'm your co-host, Charles. Good evening, NFW Nation. Good evening, Albert. How you doing, Charles? And on the phone with us is also uh, the superstar that's coming back and making his NFW return, another than Sebastian. How you doing, Sebastian? I'm doing wonderful, Al. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, we're going to talk to you about your return to NFW in the, in the March 1st event, Reckless Revenge, which is uh, on a Friday night at 5820 uh, Metro Drive here in Amazon, Indiana, bell time 7.30 p.m. And I, I can't wait to look forward to it. I'm, I, I know Charles got some questions also. Charles, i tell you what, Charles, I'll let you start it off, okay, buddy? All right, my man. First of all, uh, Sebastian, thanks for uh, being on our show tonight. We appreciate it. It's been a long time since we've seen you. We're anxious to see you, and I know all the fans are. How do you feel about returning to NFW Nation, my friend? You know, Charles, I'm, I'm glad to be coming back to Evansville. I haven't been there in a long time. Uh, I'm looking forward to being there on March 1st. It's, it's been a couple of years since I've been in New Focus, and uh, I think some people are kind of excited about me coming back, and there's probably some people who aren't too excited about it either. What's that now? I said I'm excited about coming back, you know. I'm sure there's some people there in Evansville that are excited about me coming back up there, but it's like I'm sure there's probably some people up there that probably aren't too excited about me coming back. Well, we're all excited to have you That's back. That's right. You've always been a, uh, a good, good competitor and a real sportsman, so yeah, we're glad to see you come back. Well, I'm glad to glad you have you back. Uh, so tell you, tell you what, uh, Sebastian, um, like I said, March 1st, uh, you're going to make a return back to the NFW. Uh, like I said, it's Reckless Revenge, and I'm sure the NFW Nation will be looking forward to seeing you all. So, um, you have any comments about the, about your return, about what the, what, what, what we're going to be seeing in you? Well, you know, um, one of those things coming in, you, you got to make a decision on uh, who you're going to side with and things. I know there's a lot of things going on there at New Focus, and... Um, you know, I think I've kind of come to my conclusion of where I'm going to stand and whose side I'm going to be on in some things. And, um, you know, I think that uh, the right choice for Sebastian has been um, to side with the coalition. Uh, it just seems like the right thing for me to do because I don't feel like I was, a, I was appreciated the last time I was there. And uh, I think it's, it, revenge is a very good uh, name for this event. I think reckless revenge, and the word reckless means a lot to Sebastian. Uh, if anybody knows the history of Sebastian and uh, New Focus as being part of a team called Reckless Abandon, an event named Reckless Revenge is perfect for me to come back because I want to get my revenge on on New Focus Wrestling for for I feel doing me wrong the last time I was there. So let me. So you're saying that you're with the coalition? That's right. Charles? That's what he said. I'm as shocked as you are, Albert, but he's a grown man. He can make his decisions. What, what brought you to the, to this decision other than what, I mean, where had to be, did you, were you contacted or, or what? Uh, yeah, of course I was contacted. You know, I'm, the thing is, is there's, there's people that, you know, want to get in touch with me and have gotten in touch with me and they want to, I mean, they wouldn't want me on their side. Come on, Charles. You, you you know you know a lot of my history. You you've been around me a lot. Who, who wouldn't want me to be on their side? Well, I, I understand, Sebastian, but I just you know I mean you were such a crowd favorite when you were there the last time, and now I mean you know, hey, I like I said, you're a grown man. Albert, we're both grown men. What do you think about this? Well, it, it's kind of got me shocked, and surprised. I know I know that uh, I was told that it's going to be, the three four ways. It's going to be a three way, but uh, and that uh, there's going to be another member of the coalition coming out, but I didn't know Sebastian. It really took me by surprise. So instead of being the Fatal 4-Way, you're going to be in the uh, the 10-man uh, tag team match. Is that right, Sebastian? Uh, uh, yes, of course. Okay. Uh, your partners, oh, Lord have mercy, is Victor Bruiser Lewis, uh, Diver Flynn, Chas Stallings, and Daniel Eads. Uh, you're going up against Johnny Richards, SOL, which is uh, Anthony Blaze, and Hardcore Cowboy Scotty Wolf. Kirk Patrick and Russ Fry Roy, uh, I tell you what, uh, give me a comment on, on the match and how you think it'll be and, and uh, the outcome. I mean, you, you have to look at these teams. 
the coalition is a superior team. It's like, you know, I, I was chosen to be on the, on this team. I was asked. Me and, me and Vic go back a long way. He knows what I'm capable of doing, you know? It's like, I don't care about who's on the other team. I'm, I'm, I'm there to do what I'm going to do, and that's wrestle. You know, I don't care about Johnny Richards. It's like, I don't care about Scotty Wolf. I don't care about any of those other guys. It's like, they don't mean anything to me. It's like, I'm there for me, you know? Like, if there's, I don't care about those people. I'm there for money and to wrestle. That's, that's what I'm coming for. It's like, I'm being hired to be on this team to help take these guys out. And that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, now, I know Charles, uh, I, I uh, contacted uh, Sebastian not too long ago, and uh, he said he was looking forward to being on here because he had some really important messages to say. So I guess... Uh, that's what he was talking about. Uh, if there's anything you want to say or comment about Charles Sebastian, go right ahead. Well, I, I got to say this. I might not agree with what you're doing, but you seem focused, no pun intended, and you seem like a man on a mission. So I guess March the 1st right there at the Metro Center in Evansville, Indiana, we're going to see what all goes down. But like Al said, there's really good competition on the other side of that team. So I guess let the best men win. That's true. Uh, now you got a great, uh, a pretty good uh, team. Also, at Vic the Bruiser, you know Vic's a pretty tough, uh, pretty tough uh, superstar. And like I said, uh, he's nobody you want to mess with either. But like I said, you're going up against SOL Johnny Richards. Have you ever went up against them guys before? Um, you know, you know, I've, I've, I've faced Rough Rider Roy a few times. Uh, I don't know about the other guys. Some of them I really don't know. I really don't care who they are. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever wrestled Johnny Richards. I know I've teamed with him a couple times. And so like, you know, and I know he wants to act like he's a big fan favorite. But when, when I knew him, when I teamed with him, he was, he was a dirty person. And I still believe he's that, he's that dirty. He's, he's uh, scamming all these people out there, you know, think that, making them think and believe that, that he likes them. And so I don't think that's true. Hmm. Okay. Uh, At least I'm being honest and telling these people I don't like them. I don't care. Well, he's, you got to give him credit, Charles. He's uh, he's coming straight out and saying how he feels and saying his thoughts about uh, Johnny and the uh, new focus. So, uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see at that 10-man tag. That's going to be something else. But uh, Sebastian is taking uh, Nick Iggy's place. And also, uh, not only is he taking his place, he's actually becoming a member of the coalition. Uh, I mean, I don't know what... I mean, it's kind of got me kind of surprised and shocked, but... Uh, I guess we we'll have to wait and see on, on March the 1st. Uh, I'll tell you what, Charles, do you have anything you want to ask Sebastian or say or comment on? Well, I will say this. Uh, regardless of how you feel about him right now, after he's uh, let everything out, he is a man of his word. And if he tells you he's going to conquer, he's going to conquer. But like I said, that's a strong team. He's got Chad Stallings, Diamond Flynn, Victor Bruiser, Daniel Eads, and that's, that's a strong team. But then other work, on the other team, you got... Scotty Wolf is crazier now than Al Fratt. Nancy Blaze, God knows how crazy he is. And Johnny Rich, we won't even go to that. Yeah. Rough Rider Roy, he's about five scenes short of a movie. He ain't All kidding. crazier than hell, to be honest with you. <laughs> so it's going to be a hell of a fight that night. You're right. Okay, Sebastian, before we let you go, um... I guess we want to ask if you have anything you want to say to the NFW Nation about your return. I mean, we've, we've heard quite a bit, but uh, if you have anything extra you want to say before we let you go? I don't, I don't have anything to say, but all those people need to show up, buy a ticket, so they can see me make my return to New Focus Wrestling in Evansville and watch me and the rest of the coalition dominate this other team and walk out victorious. And that's it. That's all I got to say, Al, Charles. Thanks for having me on. It was your pleasure. Okay. All right. Thanks for being on, Sebastian. I guess we'll see you March the first. All right. Good night. <laughs> Have a good evening. See you, my friend. Uh, I'll tell you what, Charles. I am shocked. Uh, I talked to Sebastian just a few days ago, and uh, I'll tell you what, I didn't have a clue that this is what he was talking about. And he said he had a very important message he's wanting to say and, and tell the NFW Nation and, and what he, he's wanting to be heard. And I guess that's what he's talking about. And now, now we know uh, Sebastian's part of the coalition. I mean, it's, it's got me pretty well. Like I said, it, 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 it shocked me. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. I, I didn't see it coming, Charles. Well, I'm going to tell you, you, you know, like I said, he's a 
veteran, man. He's been around a long time. He's tough. He's tough as a, as a, as a box of nails, man. But I'm going to tell you, like I told you, when he says, I'm going to do something, he's going to do something. But I'm like you, I was swerved. I, I had not a clue. But it doesn't surprise me in a way simply because the coalition is going after something. You're talking about dethroning. And that's what's on their mind. And as strong as they can make it, they're going to do it. So yeah. they're just adding another, you know, tough guy to their, uh, to their roster. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, it's 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 something else. I I tell you what, uh, we can go ahead and go on to the other other matches and uh, we we'll go with the like I said, uh, NFW presents Reckless Revenge, uh, Metro Sports Center, fifty eight twenty Metro Drive here in Evansville, Indiana. Bell time seven thirty. We also want to thank our sponsors. Um, oh shoot, a Brighter Side Incorporated. Thank you very much. Uh, Evansville Tire. Griggs Family Pizzeria, Jan's Fashion and Costume, and TJ Scrap Dealer. They are our sponsors, and thank you for being sponsors. And, uh, ooh, I'll tell you what, Charles, <laughs> something else. Uh, like, also, we, we got a lot going on that night. Uh, we got the uh, Ravens Rule match. We got uh, Raven and Mad Mad Pondo teaming up, which is some, is one. I'll tell you what, I can't wait to see that tag team, Pondo and Raven. They're going up against. Uh, WWE's Domino, Cliff, former WWE's Domino, Cliff Compton, and Gator McAllister. That match there, Charles. I tell you what, that that, that that's going to be that's going to be something else. That, that match here is everybody better get it, grab a seat and sit down. I mean, it's it's going to be something else, Charles. Oh yeah, it's going to be a barn burner. Al. That's what Gary says. The match that night, in my opinion, is a main event. So like I tell everybody, you need to get there, get early, get your seats, get situated, because it's going to be one heck of a ride. Yeah. Then, after, like we said, we got the 10-man tag match. And uh, Johnny Richards, SOL, Kirk Patrick, Russ Ryder Roy going up against Victor Bruiser, uh, Sebastian, uh, Dyron Flynn, Chad Stallings, and Daniel Eads. And, a team, and uh, Johnny Richards just said, whoever on the Kalushka pin him, he will give him the, the NFW world title. So uh, that match here is going to be great. Then also we've got uh, the women's match, uh, Epiphany making her return. And we all know what the Epiphany can do. <laughs> and uh, she's going up against Chloe. So I tell you what, uh, this is going to be, like I said, a learning experience for Chloe. And, and going up against Epiphany, Charles, I tell you what, uh, Chloe, uh, Chloe's fast. She's got some great moves. And she showed us what she's made of when she uh, took on Johnny Richards and took him to the limit. But uh, she's going up against uh, <laughs> I, 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 one, one, one mean, mean superstar is Epiphany. Yes, sir. But I'll tell you what, one of those always are. Oh, Chloe's came around here. I'm eating a piece of that cake that y'all sent me up here through the mail. It's really good. I <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then, uh, then also we got Flash Flanagan, the former NFW uh, champion, going up against uh, JP Lightning, which is going to be great because JP, I tell you what, he his last few uh, months that he's been here, he's he's really come on. He's really uh, been going at it. I tell you what, he's a tough competitor. So uh, that's going to be another great match also oh, there. Oh, it, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Then we got uh, Brandon Espinosa and Ace Hawkins going up against Matt, Matt and Chase King in a tag match. Then we got, well, it's not the Fatal 4-Way no more. Now it's a three-way match for the No Limits title. Canadian Kid, Benny Bray, and Paradise, which would be, which would be uh, a pretty great match, a three-way match there. And uh, like I said, for the, bringing back the No Limits title for the uh, singles title. So uh, that's going to be great. Then also Charles... A lot of people talking about the Rumble match to crown the number one contender for the NFW World Title, and uh, I'm sure we will have, uh, like I said, uh, a lot of wrestlers in there, and it's every man for themselves. So uh, you know, your friend can be your enemy in that match, couldn't it, Charles? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. You know, when you're in a match like that, Albert, everybody's fair game. Yeah. Then we got uh, Bobo Brazil coming back, T Bolt coming back, the Flash Brothers, uh, Rowdy Red. Tempest and Johnny Whiplash, the NFW Tag Team Champions, will be there. Looking forward to seeing them there also. And then, like I said, we got other matches. Uh, plus, I'm pretty sure we're going to have a Oh, yeah. So, Raffle, we're going to have a, we're going to have a contest. Also, the, the Wrestler of the Year, 2012 Wrestler of the Year is also, like I said, our, our 10 nominees are Hardcore Cowboy Scotty Wolf, Vic the Bruiser Lewis, Flash Flanagan, Bobo Brazil Jr., T-Boat, Canadian Kid, Tempest, Iron Man Rob Conway, Johnny Richards, and Dyer Flynn. I'll tell you what, any of them guys can win it. I mean, the fans vote on them. Like I said, your vote doesn't count on who your favorite star is, but who you think is more worthy of the title. 
one who's won titles, who's, who's beat hard competition, who's had a, a lot of victories. So, you know, you got to use those three categories. And I'll tell you what, Charles, any one of them guys can come out as roster of the year. Oh, yeah, I'm going to tell you something now. I'll be honest with you. I, now, this is just my opinion. Yeah. I believe, and you're not going to like this, but I believe it could just very well be Johnny Richards. Well, i tell you what, I would say, I, in a way, I do like it because, like I said, he, he's, he won, he's won the title, he's held the title, and he's fought uh, Rob Iron Man, he's fought Victor Bruce, he's fought the Canadian Kid, he, he's, he's fought everybody on this list and got victories he's been through, over. He's been through, got victories. He's been through the ringer here. But, here. He's, he's fought everybody, he's had, he's had an obstacle thrown up in front of him, he's had a broken arm, a wrist, whatever, he had a cousin, whatever, and he still comes back. He's like a daggone old king snake. Oh, yeah. And uh, also, hardcore cowboy Scotty Wolf, he had a string of victories with SOL uh, that you wouldn't believe. And uh, another one, Bobo Brazil Jr., he, he's, uh, he, he hasn't lost in over eight months. So, uh, like I said, he's very worthy in Tempest. You, you know, Tempest came back from his shoulder injury to become the NFW uh, tag team, one half of the NFW tag team champions. So, I'll tell you what, you know, a lot of these guys are very worthy of that title, so we're looking forward to seeing who the fans are going to pick as the 2012 wrestler of the year. Whew. Like I said, it's all happening at NFW's event, Records Revenge, Friday night this time. It's not Saturday night, it's Friday night, bell time 7.30, March the 1st. Like I said, you got all kinds of matches. you got tag team matches, you got 10-man tag matches, you got the Ravens Drill match, you got the women's match, you, you got the Rumble match. I'll tell you what, um... Uh, now we got Sebastian joining the coalition, which which uh, kind of like surprised surprise and shocked me and Charles. And the wrestler of the year, whew, I tell you what, Charles, I'm about out of breath. I, there's there's so much going on at uh, Records Revenge, Charles. So much going on, I can't, I can't wait. It's gonna be exciting. And uh, that Rumble match, I'm looking forward to. Uh, I've been invited to uh, participate in it, which <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. It, well, if Smart Mark's in it, Charles, I think I'm I might. <laughs> Uh, shake that ring up, but you know how you are. Oh, uh, I, I want to tell you something. I want to say this before we go. Go ahead. I've been saying all on Facebook for the last week or two. This is going to be the show of the year. Everybody needs to get there, get early, get their seats. Like I said, get get seated. Because I mean, like every match, Albert is a main event. Oh, every match. I mean, where else can you see Pondo? Pondo. Ray, Johnny Rich. <laughs> Oh, like I said. Dottie Wolf. Bobo and T Bone. I mean, if this list got that's an all star crowd right there, Al. Every, just about every NFW superstar will be there. Um, like I said, the matches are great. Every match, every match is the main event. The Rumble, the, you know, the women's match. Uh, I, I tell you what, it, it's it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Whew, I tell you what, Charles. Like I said, NFW presents Reckless Revenge March the first, Friday night, bell time seven thirty at at the Metro Sports Center. 5820 Metal Drive here in Evansville, Indiana. Again, bell time is 7.30. We, I'm sure we have some raffles going on to win some win some tickets to the next show, to win some NFW merchandise. Uh, Johnny Richards going to have some new merchandise, uh, new NFW merchandise. And I'm sure some other wrestlers will bring their merchandise in. So we're going to have a great time. We're going to crown the wrestler of the year for 2012. And uh, and I tell you what, look for that Ravens Rule match. I, it don't get any better than that. It don't get any better than that. So I tell you what, Charles, I'm about done here, my friend. Whew, if you have any more last comments and spread the love, I I'm all ears. Like I said, I just want to welcome everybody out March 1st to uh, NFW, man, out there at the Metro Center. It's a real family-friendly organization. We welcome all families, all kids. Welcome to have a good time. That's what it's about is entertaining the That's right. Fans. That's right. There you go. Well, Charles, tell you what, if you want to spread the, spread the love, go ahead, my friend. Okay. Just for me. <laughs> Don't fight amongst yourself. Please fight it up. All you have to do is fight it. See you, Albert. See you tonight, Charles. Good night, FW Nation. Okay.